Hi everybody, welcome back to The Witcher Part 3. Um, that's right, the third installment of this game in the series. Um, it came out years ago, but here I am playing it. And here we are on episode 100. Can you believe that? Christ! A hundred episodes of this. Anyway, uh, we're on the Isle of Mists, apparently. Uh, we have to follow a firefly, which is, uh, possibly gonna lead us to Siri at long last. Jesus. We've gotten... Some of our own hunt assembled. At least we have some people who are up for helping us, at least. Um, and now we're we're here, trying to find Siri. So let's do it. Let's follow the Firefly and see where the Firefly leads us. Hopefully not into, like, the wrecks of a million ships. Or into anything too spooky, because, Christ. We've had our fair share of spooky behavior out here, haven't we? Not, not even just out here, just generally in the land of the Witcher. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the land, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Alright, this is proving to be quite difficult actually, because it looks like I'm... Oh shit! Hold up a second. There's a dragon on my boat. Okay, hang on a second. Let's make sure that this dragon gets off my boat. Um, looks like the boat has taken a little bit of damage. It looks like the dragon tore off a panel from the boat. Let's try to make that not happen again. Hopefully this firefly leads us to where we're going. Oh look, I see a tower with a light on. That looks promising, okay. I think that the firefly is going to take us there. What's going to be- Whoa! Okay, watch out. No, not again. Come on, off you go. Come on, just shake it off. Just fuck. Okay. Hold up. Come on. Come on now. Oh, look. It's taking us here, it looks like. Okay. Perfect. Alright, let's get off. Just in time, too. Whoa. Man, it's nippy in here. Okay. Oh, look. There's a treasure chest. Oh, yeah. We've got a wyvern decoction, which we might actually need. Okay, let's get the witchery senses going here. Looks like we got some orins and florins and... Morins and Porins as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's save. We're on the land now. In the Isle of Mists. Oh, man. Could this be it? Could this be... Tangalore? Now, who the fuck is this? Whoa. What is a Tangalore? Does anyone know? Fuck! Alright. Good. Now, I don't know what a Tangalore is, but we just found out that maybe they appear from the mist. We have to be a little bit careful. Knocking them down and then um, dealing a, a stabbing blow to their heart seems to do the job, though, which is pretty good. All right, Siri, are you up here? Ah, shit, it's not going to be those crones again, is it? The cro I, or maybe they're bound to Crookback Bog. At the hut. I'll look inside. All right, let's get the witchery senses going just in case. All right, who lives in this hut? It's locked. Locked. Knock! Knock on the door, Gerald. Come on. Anybody in there? Damn. Uh-oh. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Whoa! Who are you? What do you want? Siri, is that you? I'm looking for a young woman with ashen hair. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. this is surreal. Will you let me in? Who actually lives out here? And how? No. There's no farming to be had out here. I'm starting to get angry. Running short on patience. Wonderful. Means you're about to go the fuck away. <laughs> oh, wow. Buy my mum's beer. Get yourselves to get a watch. It sounds like Zoltan. There, outside the door. Geralt! That right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, girl, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads. What and the, the rest fuck? of us found shelter here. Why don't you open the door? It's too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. But it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. All right. What do you want? This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. Come on. But that's a demon. It will try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. 
Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Come on, I found some Orins down on the beach. I can give you those. I'll look for your lost mates. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? I, but I'm not proud of either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Hey, I vote Gaspar and Ferenc. <gasps> the Lost Vikings. I knew it. Okay, where will I find Ivo? This Ivo. Where do I look? Ajax says they did explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. But I wouldn't budge it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, what about Gaspard? Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeatist. Said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action. Or at least, he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for ships. Okay, and what about Ferenc? Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc. How do they know this stuff? There's a ship that's meant to be out there. Come on now. All right, I'll find them. Don't worry. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. God damn it. Now we gotta go look for three dwarves for fuck's sake. Man, we were so close too. I thought we were like gonna see Siri and I thought like things were gonna just like... Roach? Oh, there's no roach allowed on this island either. We gotta do it all by foot for fuck's sake. Christ! Alright, this this could possibly be one of the worst things that's ever happened to us. You know who's gonna Alright, Tangalore. Where are you? There's two Tangalores! There's a Tangalore and a fidget here as well. Alright, come on you guys. I'm not fucking around here. That's right. When Gerald gets busy, he gets fucking busy. Alright, let's see what these guys had. Powdered monster tissue. Nice. Okay. We're taking out our frustrations on Tangalores. Because why the hell not? And let's pick up some herbs that we'll never ever use as well. Because why not? Okay, what's this down here? It looks like there's some sort of gigantic... I don't, it looks like maybe it's like, like a bison or something? A fiend. It's a level 22 fiend. Crap. Stubby legs. Too slow. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna have to potentially think about getting Quinn on the go here. Alright, Quinn me up, baby. He's doing some sort of sinister charge move, I think. Let's just sidestep him a little bit. Get in here with a couple of, like, fucking awesome chops. Get the Quinn going again. Got him. Alright, the fiend is down. Oh my shit. Shit. Okay. Where is he? He's dead. I found him. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Alright, that's one down. One down. He's dead as he's dead. He's deader than dinner. Unless you like to eat things that are alive. Okay. Perfect. A fiend. Fuck. That was brutal. Okay, we've got a Tangalore here. It looks like he's running away now. He knows what's up. And a foglet as well. Come on, Tangalores. So fucking bullshitty. Look at this. Yeah, he did not expect that. Okay. Let's grab some infused dust. Another thing that we're probably never ever gonna use, but it's still worth having. Alright, we're on the we're on the case now. We found one and he's dead. No big surprise there. Um, it's uh, unlikely that any of these guys are gonna be alive, but you know what? We're gonna do our best because we want to find out what's in the hut. That's our first big um, Stumbling block on this island. We want to find out who's in the hut and we want to see if maybe Siri is in there having a nap Or she's just been like that uh, plied with alcohol or something. I don't know. Okay, you never know when there's dwarves are involved That's the thing. They're all deviants and they're, they're all very deceptive as well. Okay, who's this now? He's alive! What are you doing up there, you son of a bitch? Don't worry, I'll take out this wild hack. Alright, I got him, don't worry. There's a couple of them, it turns out. Shit! Whoa. Alright, you can come down now, it's all safe. A man! Am I ever pleased to see you? What's up? I talked to your friends. Come down. I'm not a right. demon. I'm coming. 
Okay, come on down. You lucky devil, you. I'm not you a know, devil. I one regret that. Oh, ah, ah. For fuck's sake. Dead. <laughs> oh, come on. He's dead too. <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy. He actually fell down and died. Oh, come on. We're never going to find any. This is a joke, right? This has to be a joke. It, it, there's got to be something. Okay, look. This other guy's going to be in this tower for sure, right? But maybe Siri's going to be in this tower like we predicted on the way in when we were following the Firefly. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck me. How, how do you how do you survive that and then just lose your footing and die? I guess it happens sometimes. Okay, let's see. What's in here? Hello? Anybody? Anybody around? There's some treasure chests here. Look. Oh, nice. Full of crap as well. My favorite. God, I like a lot of crap. Okay. We'll climb up and take a look. I'm sure he's up here dead. He's got to be dead, right? They're always dead. Two of them have been dead so far. Why shouldn't this one be dead as well? He's alive! I can hear him. Maybe he's gone nuts or something? Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up? A fat lock in the arse. He's drunk. Hey, Gaspard, what up. are you doing? Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Um, you and your friends. Who are you exactly? You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me Sleepy. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Can I have what's in that chest? I'm looking for an ashen-haired young woman. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. All right, you asshole. Come with me. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Well, actually, one of them fell Let's off a rock and died. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. All right, we're going to bring I one of them back. I should warn you, I least. suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> off we go, then. What do I have to do? Like, do an igni on him or something? I didn't even get to, to see what was in that chest that he was sleeping on. Probably nothing, right? Don't you dare fall asleep, you son of a bitch. Gerald is just like, fuck this guy. Alright, keep up if you can, alright? It's a long hike back. Don't you even think about it, alright? We've had quests like this in WoW before. I know what I'm doing, okay? Just stay the fuck awake. Whoa! How? How, is this, how are these Tangalores getting the jump on me like this? Alright, where are they at? All right, come on then. Come on, let's keep going. If you're a wee bit drowsy. Oh, for Christ's sake! Come on come now. On, get up. Oh, nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? All right, I'm up. Oh, do we have to really do this all the way back? What's wrong with his foot? Oh my God! You got like some a case of crazy feet going oh, on there. What about this aisle? Almost nothing. You know, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. Oh. I think it's enchanted. It's the one thing I'm sure of. It isn't. Don't you even think about it. Come on. Stop falling asleep for Christ's sake. We got places to go and people to see. Stop it. Don't. He's stopping all the time, this guy. Christ. Okay. Is it up this way? It's it's up the mountain pass, isn't it? We're taking the mountain pass, okay? Don't slip or anything, you son of a bitch. All right. Oh my god. Come on now. C come on, Gerald. You could do it. What the fuck? How do I get up here now? <laughs> Maybe I could... <can laughs> 
Come on, Gerald. You can do it. I'm a believe. <laughs> I believe. Yes. Okay, we're up. All right, good. Where are you, sleepy? Just cowering back here. What the hell is your problem? Stop cowering. Be a man. Come on. I'm manning up. Look, I'm shooting these things. I'm shooting them all. All right, get back down here, sleepy. Come on. <laughs> Let's just keep shooting it. Can we, sh can we shoot it while it's on? Oh, look, we can shoot a couple of them as well. All right. Let's shoot him. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like how you can shoot. All right. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh my god, these guys must be so annoyed by this, this, this fucking level of play here. Look, I'm just constantly hitting, sniping them every time and they're falling down. Okay, you know what? I now know what I must do. Let's wait for them to get in close and then stab them. Come on. Alright, Sleepy, come on. We're not going up that way, okay? It's a real pain in the ass. Come down this way instead. Let's take the low ground. Aw, oh, shit. There's another... There's a, there's two Tangalores here. God, this is tough. Come on, Sleepy. Bam! Whoa! Did you see that, Sleepy? I chopped his head clean off. Incredible, wasn't it? All right, follow me. We're taking the low ground this time. Through here. We don't want to be attacked by dragons or what? Oh, for shit. Come on. God, this is the worst. I think this might be the worst escort quest ever, actually. Like, it really takes a while. Christ. Don't even think about falling asleep. Okay, he's not. He's decided not to have a sleep this time. Although he is sort of stopping. Okay, we're back on the trail now. Hut should just be up here. You all right there? You're not not feeling tired or anything? Good. I have a feeling there's going to be like another fight in a second though. Probably a big one right outside the hut. Uh, probably something's going to just come out of the mist and kidnap him probably and then I'll be empty headed. No. Not now. Come on. Wake up. We're almost there. I don't I don't want to go to school. God, look the crazy feet are going again. <laughs> Why are your feet so nuts, Sleepy? So what is, is it? it like a like a side effect place. of the narcolepsy or something? Here. What? Just kind of turned out that way. All right. Not too keen on talking about it. We made it. We Not finally really. made it. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Brought you your friend. Ah, sure. Let's hear him then. Don't fall asleep now. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> yes, Bob. Stand back. I'm opening the door. <laughs> he actually fell asleep. Gaspard, ha, you seem a bit muddled. He was sleeping. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. And Saw the other another one. fall from a cliff. Yeah. Broke his neck. Shut. Robert told me to have an eye on the snort. Twas his nephew. Uh-oh. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Where's Got Sneezy? You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. That boat is An not big enough, Joe. Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. What? Why are you sorry? What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. No. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's Fuck. By the boat. She's dead. I can't believe I was too late. That can't be right, though, right? Go on, Gerald. In you go. Give her the kiss of life. Give her some CPR. It might not be too late. Blow a weed shotgun directly up her nose. That'll wake her up. Maybe it's not even her. Maybe it's like an old lady. Oh no, it's her for sure. Fuck. 
Maybe she's just like in a, in like a deep state of meditation or something like that. Look, her satchel is waving, saying, Hello, Gerald. Hello. Come and rescue me. She's alive. Trust me. I mean, she looks dead as hell, though. Hello, Gerald! <laughs> what the fuck? That is ruining my immersion big time. Oh, Gerald's crying. Man, he's really upset. Make one tear fall onto her face, Gerald. That might help. Oh man, she looks super dead though. Wait, what's this firefly all about though? Hang on a second. Check it out. She's back. Oh, look, we're having flashbacks now. Wow, look at how young we looked. Holy crap. Nice. All right, finally, holy crap, finally we found her. Jeez, it's taken a hundred episodes to finally find her. For fuck's sake. Guess That's not crazy. all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. It was Yen. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalok. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. Uh, we lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen. Hey, what do you think of that? We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. Is that good? Do you trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Alright, why is Avalok even helping you, though? Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. Right, okay. Any idea what Eridan wants from you? What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. Fuck. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. Oh, I see. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Alright. Uh, your voyage with Avalok, how'd it start? How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. Like a guardian he angel. A portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. 
Okay. What was that world? The world where Herodin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. Nice. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. It sounds like that movie, you know, the one where, like, the knight goes back. Not back in time, but, like, forward in time. There's, like, a, a tear in the fabric of time and he falls through it and he ends up in modern-day New York City. Falls in love with Meg Ryan. Fuck, I love that one. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. Pell-mell? Alright, I know your story. No, tell me everything step by step. So tell Let's me hear what it. happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us. And Avalok began gasping for air. Wow. That's how Eredin cursed Avalok. Triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. Cool! And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. Nice. Okay, I know, I followed your tracks. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. Oh, nice. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Was it the Baron? Boar attacked you? Mm hmm Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. How'd you meet Horson Jr.? <laughs> so how'd you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the Temple Oh God. my god, it's like a trip down memory <laughs> lane, that. all this. I probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm -hmm. I killed him, I by the way. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. Uh, Junior cheated you, you in the suspected, end. suspected, right? Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Doodoo. 
<laughs> promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. Okay. You did and landed in Skellige. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident. I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then... Dreams. Just dreams. What kind of dreams? Like about the Baron? What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Uh... Oof. <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. That happened? What else? I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire. You didn't have a dream about me and Yen and a unicorn, did you? And that would be pretty awkward. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Okay. Did you recognize the tower? Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. Right. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. Oh. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking ha, of which, ha, ha. I'm probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Hell what? yeah. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. We have some preparations Besides, to make. I hate portals. Man, I, I like them. I'm lazy as hell. I would take them all the time. Damn. They stole the boat. Fucking assholes. Unbelievable. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Look, Siri's on, on it already. Oh. Oh no. Siri, they found us! Hide in a bush, quick! Get Wait, what are those folks? They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me! They already do. Siri, take us home. Alright, come on, let's portal out of here, quick. Nice. Oh! I got an achievement! Wow! Find Siri! Whoa! Feels good! Holy shit! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Oh, god damn. I can't believe it. I can't believe how long we've been playing this game for. It's so good! Jesus Christ. We're back at Kaer Morin. It looks like Vesemir is feeding some oats to his horse. Black Stallion? Or is it Black Beauty? Oh wait, there's two. Remember that quest where I freed Black Beauty and he went riding around and killed everybody? That was nuts. Oh, is that Yen pacing up there? Calm down, Yen. Maybe she senses something? Whoa. <laughs> Back, boys. <sighs> it 
It's just like you left it. <laughs> oh man, what a reunion. <laughs> Welcome back, child. <laughs> what the fuck? Yen, have you been drinking? Yen, have you been drinking? My Are you drunk as hell or what? Beautiful. Besimir, has she no been drinking? standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. I've never seen her so You've animated. Not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. One great big happy family. <laughs> Now come on, let's get some dinner. Stop looking what? at Ian. Oh, that's awkward. Little sis. Whoa, this is even more awkward. <laughs> oh shit, man, maybe I should have killed Triss. This love triangle will never do. Oh, so I guess Triss is gonna be part of my hunt then. That's They're good. They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. Okay. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Oh, man. That's right, we got all the boys back together. Hunt will be here soon. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Triss, okay. please. No, Thanks, Triss. No, you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Okay. Fine. A minute, then we go. Fine. So, a minute, then we go? Alright. Alright, thanks, Triss. Thanks for understanding. Alright. Crack out the unicorn. It's Let's just go. a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, <gasps> use okay. these seconds well. Okay, let's fret yeah. your heart. I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity, but for your candor. All right, yeah, here we go. Oh, come on. Like a bit of tongue, at least. Come on, we Time might die go. here. Fuck. God have mercy on my blue balls. Yeah, All right, let's you go. You know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Let's Tell go. Us about the magic come on. Things. Alright, we're gonna begin the council. We have to set up some defenses. Alright, this looks promising. Zoltan, are these explosives? Bring all your tools with you. Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. Plate will need some hammering. That sort of thing. Oh, nice. Not right. Thanks, Zoltan. Plan to top that by brewing some more of my hackam and mix. Shade so volatile, you need to <laughs> glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. Sweet. All right. Can you, um... Oh, you, well, you know what? Let's talk later. I don't need All anything right. crafted. We'll I'm ready. Later, I got the best gear in the world. Ish. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not great. Maybe I'll die. Repeatedly. Oh, hey, look who it is. Besimir. We got Irmi on here as well. What's up? How are you guys doing? Good. Glad that you guys could make it to my wild hunt. All right, who else is here? We've got Yen, She's of course, of Triss. Here. Lambert, no thanks for joining the hunt as well, you son of a bitch. Kind of hate you, but there we go. Where's the skeleton? There he is, all right. Yeah, what's up? Okay, this hunt is shaping up real nice. Like, this is going to be great. This is exactly what we need. All right, let's bust through here. Anyone else here? Oh, shit, yeah, look who it is. Vernon Roche and Vess. All right, welcome to the welcome to my very own wild hunt, the wilder hunt. That's right. We've finally made made it, and it's gonna be even better than those other show-offs. Fucking assholes. We're gonna show them who's boss around here. They even dare try to siege the place. We're gonna rip them a new one. All right, let's hold council now. As the leader of the new wild hunt, I would like to call all of my my banner men and women. To the small council that I'm preparing right now. Sorry there's no food. It's tough times and we don't have anything to drink either. But check out this cool trick my amulet can do. It can spaz out like crazy. Here comes the great Get everybody betrayal. together. Time to talk. Gerald. 
sorry to have to say this to you, but it was me. I am the guy behind the other wild hunt the whole time. I was jealous of you, now I'm gonna backstab you, and I'm gonna make out with your girlfriend. Fucking Vesemir, I knew it! Wait, what was he looking at there? Looks like some scratchings on the wall? Thank you for coming. Oh man. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Wanna take her? We'll stop them. Oh shit. How do you even know the hunt will show? Oh, they they'll show. They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? Well, we'll all have a task. We have to take the initiative. Okay, let's take the initiative. That sounds Aridin, fun. the king of the hunt. He's confident. He'll strike hard, hoping to defeat us with the force of the blow alone. We've got to take the initiative away from him. Foil his plan. Yeah, good idea. I'll generate a magic dome over the fortress. It will scatter them, force them to land in the woods. Perfect. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Yeah. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Nice. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. All right, yeah. Lambert will make us diamond Sounds good. Bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erdin should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Wow, Apart this sounds that, good. They will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. Okay. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Nice. Okay. All right. Siri is most important. Siri is most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Nice, okay. All right, we have to work together. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. God damn. What a fucking pep talk. Now for the rest of the plan. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss. Bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this, my Hackerman mix. <laughs> Flammable <laughs> and bone saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. I like that. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. Okay, do it. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. All right. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. What? This is getting complicated as fuck. What's the lab get us? Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. Okay. Do we want traps, or do we want potions? Let's get some potions. Always relied on potions. We should brew as many as possible. All right, let's talk me. about the workshop. Okay. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Right. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Okay. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. All right, let's patch up the wall then. We're going to patch up the Fixing wall. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. So be it. Everything settled? I guess so. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll yes, commit to that. Settled. 
We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. Right. That should push the opposing force into the woods. Perfect. Where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Yeah. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. Boom! All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Oh man. It's a lot of lot of Remember, unsure faces. Aaron there. can't get his hands on Siri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. God damn. Okay, this is fucking cool as hell. Holy shit. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. Lambert, let's get drunk again. Come on. One more time. Um, preparations coming along? What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. God damn it, Your Lambert. potions. Oh, thanks. Woo! Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. These are all potions I have already. Fuck. Oh my god, okay. Exit the keep and join Lambert when you're ready to face the wild hunt. Holy shit, guys. It's happening. It's happening. We're here. We've done it. We're at the end of the game, pretty much, I think. Siri, you have anything else you want to say? One, one last thing? Got a minute. <sighs> Serious talk coming. Yeah. Remember, you can't put yourself in danger. I won't let them take you. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. Yeah. Siri. I like it when you smile. Come here. Come here, you big lug. Everything will be alright. Okay. We got this. Alright. Nice pep talk, Siri. That was really nice. Okay. Alright, well, look. We're, we've done it. We're, we're about to do it. We're about to go out and do the battle. But we'll start next time, okay? We don't want to start the battle now in case it takes, like, too long or whatever. And I don't, I'm not sure that I have enough time to do it today anyway. So, we'll be back next time for some more Witcher. Hope you're still enjoying the series. I think we're kind of close to the end now. I mean, this is the Battle of Kaer Morhen, which is uh, facing off against the Wild Hunt. I can't imagine that there's much more beyond this, but who knows? I mean, this has been a pretty long game. A uh, very enjoyable one as well. Um, so, we'll be back next time where we will actually do the Battle of Kaer Morhen and see how it goes. Man, I'm kind of excited, actually. Holy shit. It's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna really just sock it to them. We got, like, a good strategy with, like, artillery and uh, amulets and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, hopefully it all goes well and we don't end up losing a bunch of good people. I wonder if it's gonna be, like, Mass Effect where, like, uh, key people will, like, die, like, and make sacrifices and stuff like that. It'll be really sad because we've got, like, a lot of people that, you know, we helped out during the game and stuff here. And, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see anyway. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.